So the YouTube, it can be a wonderful thing, I tell you. Down here by this tree with the bees in it. Um, I put out the video about me putting together the beehive and got it out there online and I got a message from an old friend that's living down in Mexico that's big time into diving, him and his wife. And they're just wonderful people, Richard and Roxy. And he contacted him and he says, hey, I have a friend right there in Rockwall, Texas that is big into the bee thing. And he gave me his name and I contacted him and we we're about to head to his house and he's gonna hook me up on what I need. And he gave me some wonderful advice about what to do with this hive. So he wants me to pull one of my broods out of the bigger boxes on the bottom there and bring it to him. He's gonna give me one that's already covered in comb. And he says, that, that'll that help right there. I had seen that online that people had said that to pull and put an old, an old one in there that already has cone on it. He's gonna give me some lemongrass oil, the same as CC was saying, and others too, but CC was giving me that advice. It's the same thing this gentleman said. So I thought I was gonna to have to order some lemongrass oil, but he said he's got enough there to get me started for now, and then I'll have time to order more. And uh, we're about to head over to his place and meet him and get the things that we need, trade out a frame with him, and hopefully we can get this thing going. We got this little wire tied around this right now. Mel's just gonna climb over there and rob one of these real quick. So you need to set those two bricks off the top. So this gentleman told me that it would be better if I move this hive about 800 feet away. Okay, set that lid off, Mel. Okay. And then set the inner cover off. That's that part right there. Yeah. Now, sit it down. Now, pick that whole box up off the top. This one? Yep, it's got handholds. It's got handholds. It's got places made for your fingers. Yep, there you go. Sit that down. Boy, it smells so good. Yeah. Huh, it smells great. Take that little uh, queen excluder off. That's okay. called a queen excluder. Okay. Now, Grab one of those frames out right there. Just, just pick one. There you go. Let me see that. That's great. Now, just set those pieces back on her if you would, babe. About this side. Yeah, put it all back. So, queen excluder. Put that queen excluder on there nice and straight. Uh, 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 wrong. But you get that? You know, no, you're going to put the lid on wrong. So, babe. Put that queen excluder on there straight where it's not hanging off the side. There you go. Now set the, the super brood, that's called the super. Set it on top nice and neat on there. Still gonna get it in there. Yep, it'll keep unwanted things out of there too while we're doing it. Then the inner cover. Just in case we don't make it back here and that storm comes in the night, we want to make sure it's all in place right. And there she's got it. Good job, Mel. Of course. <laughs> of course, huh? <laughs> yeah, my granddaughter. I'm just going to practice I'm gonna say, I might run so just don't swat them if they get at you Melinda no, they got it on her pretty good huh yeah, have to get a tie tool. if it pops and you don't smoke them you know just put it back down and walk away because <laughs> <laughs> in 30 seconds uh, they're gonna come looking for you so this is Jim Kelly right here this is the guy that my friend was uh telling me about that could help us out so we're over here checking out a few of his highs at his house right now 
he's right he's giving me some really good information. You can tell that they're not they're not aggressive the bees. So sometimes you'll see one with uh, the yellow on the back legs. Mm -hmm. That's Paul. Oh, okay. That's why I asked you, James, you know, how did you know if it is a queen, you know, how you... The drones are male bees, and all they do is sit around and eat, and that's it. They don't work, and they do that other thing, too. Man, sounds like a good life. <laughs> but in the wintertime, <laughs> they get kicked out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. You don't work, you don't eat. <laughs> This hive, I accidentally left a couple frames out of, and they cross combed it. Ah, uh, so the it's bottom. So I can't check like that for. I could cut it out, but I just had to mess with it. It really doesn't matter. There was a storm in uh, in Garland. Uh huh. And uh, is that the one you had on Facebook? The tree that you were up there and you cut into them. That's that tree right there. That's it right there. <laughs> that you've got it boxed off on the ends. Yeah. This beast also but, here. But uh, the entrance is right, right there. You know. So I dropped this section of, of wood 30 feet, and uh, and they let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's when you said you didn't have nowhere to run because you were up in that basket. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I couldn't get down fast enough. Yeah, when I looked up your Facebook page, I saw that posting there. Yeah, yeah and I read that. <laughs> and my friends, they said, uh, they said, I didn't know you could run that fast. <laughs> well, well, I like this, yeah. I got four inches clear on the bottom. Four inches clear for them to come in. Yeah. Yeah. So that way, um, they they look at it like, oh, there's lots of room to go. And this is 40 liters, the size. It, that's what it equals to. And I decided to make this thing seven frames wide to where whenever a swarm moves in, I can just transfer it to my boxes. I don't have to do any cutting. You know, it's just boom, 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 done. But uh, usually I've got comb. I usually put these in there. And then one piece of root comb. And all that right there is pollen. I ought to put that into one of my hives, one of my new swarm hives. But uh, between March 15th and Mother's Day, I usually, these things usually fill out with bees. I just set them around. Yeah, what Jim's showing me right now is a swarm trap that he's built these himself. And those are two one inch holes with a nail driven in, cut off, and then bent back so birds can't go in. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then this plate I bought from Man Lakes, and the bees can get out through there. And that lets them breathe and this is i leave it set right there whenever i, I set them up and uh out of out of nine traps last year i set out i think i caught uh, eight swarms mm -hmm. so they're pretty effective but honey honey you want some honey Yes, honey. Yes, honey. I want some honey. Let me bring out the sizes and let y'all pick what you want. Yeah, we're thinking, man, while well, we're here with oh, a man yeah, that honey. produces yeah, honey yeah, really and helping us out, why are we not buying honey? Yeah, <laughs> you know? That's something that her and I, we love. Yeah. yeah. It tastes, it tastes I like honey. This is great visit, and I really appreciate Russell for if you start that the honey, you know you can see a lot of honey bee now here. I really appreciate Richard for making this contact, this hookup for us today. This guy, this has been a true blessing here to meet Jim. Uh he's given us we traded out one of our new frames for this one. 
with uh, the honeycomb already on it because that'll help attract them in. He hooked me up with some uh, lemon oil. He's got a bottle of it right here. See if that'll focus in. There you go. The lemongrass oil right there. It's pretty neat. And now he's going to bring out some honey here. At least you can try the honey grass from... <laughs> some, some just filtered, non-pasteurized. How much do you use? This one, uh, that's two and a half pounds. And I charge $6 a pound. So what is that? $15? 18 nine nine and five so that's three quarters of a pound these are a pound and a half what did half and three. what did you do with our honey bottle the other day did you throw it away yes it's all right now you don't have to worry about it no i was just thinking we could uh <laughs> buy a bigger one and and put some over in it a little bit at a time well, or if we, you can get this one you want that you can or do that, that big one. <laughs> hey I'm, I'm all for it I'm but gonna... these are, you know, these are, uh, they're, they're three quarter pound. I don't think I washed them. It's all right. Them. No, we, we, we're going to get this or the big okay. one? Um, what's the difference in the weight of these? This is a pound and a half, two and a half, and three. So That's a three? This is 18, this is uh, 15, these are nine, and this is five. Well, I say that we get the big one, and, uh. I say we get more than one because you know we're wanting some of this to take to the Philippines. All the honey over there is watered down. Is it? They rip you off big time. In fact, selling Noah, we were talking about them selling. They they bought honey and the they bought honey in Indonesia. They thought they really got some pure honey, and turned out they bought watered down honey too. Yeah. I just like to use this it's a one big in scam my over there. Cereal. I mean, in my oatmeal. So, like so my granddaughter, she wrote on the top of it. Um, some of them she wrote Audrey, and some of them she wrote Pops. So <laughs> That's a Pops. You got a Pop one, huh? Yeah. So. Did you taste any of it yet, Melinda? Let me go get the. Uh... The 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 sample. Yeah. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I'm gonna get the sample. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all this honey was harvested in February or March, and this was last year's in July. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let you taste the difference. <laughs> Me first, ladies first. <laughs> you just take as much so as that one's the July one right there. That one is, uh, yeah, July last year. All right. Because it is samples, right? Boy, you're really going to yeah. fill it up. Of course. You know, Man. Supposed to be going to fill it up more. <laughs> We're buying two big bottles. It's free Don't be so people. hungry. It's free sample. Don't be so hungry, Melinda. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. Mm. Now, now try some of that other. I like it. Exactly. You gotta clean the spoon all the way off. Mm -hmm. I can tell that. You're my, I'm over here sucking my tongue like I'm like I'm tasting it, man. I like it. <laughs> and, and I found that this stuff. Uh, don't don't uh, okay. It's better for coughs and stuff for me. This this, this batch. Okay. Melinda, you're dumping it out. <laughs> it's all right. The bees will get it. Because I <laughs> you're so excited. I like this one better. Do you? Oh, you got it in your hair. Well, you like which one better? That one. I want to taste them now. Don't be so greedy, man. Oh, you're going to make sure you get 100% off that spoon, too. There's a spoon there. Yeah. Here, I'll use the same one. We don't have to waste a bunch of spoons. No, I'm not worried about it. Here, put some of this uh, July on there for me first. I know what you're going to do. You'll probably put me in one little dot. <laughs> <laughs> you read my brain now. Mm, I know you. Come on now. All right, that's good enough for me. I like it. I like this one. The, the... Okay, so that was last July. Now I want to taste this February and March one here. Okay.
Okay. Which one did you like better? This one. The definitely distinctive flavor between the two. Mm -hmm. But uh. So that I only got it this this one. That this, that one is the, the yeah. okay. Well, so, so this is the same equivalent as this. So well, I would, I would take, yeah, I yeah, think I'm going to do these two. Oh, okay. oh, oh, and yeah, this okay. one. Okay. Because this one is this, right? Right. Because we got a different taste. I like, uh, I like yeah. that one better, <laughs> and she likes that one better. Okay. And I like this. That means I can take this and hide it from you. Yeah, it's okay. It's more bigger, you know. And you, <laughs> and you don't, you don't touch you know, it. <laughs> well, the thing is, that's got the flip top. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's a lot easier to use. Yeah. So it means I can carry it now. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm oh, we're about to get rained on. Let me get this hive out of the. Oh, my goodness. Let, let me go put this in the truck real quick. I'm going to carry these in. That other one was free. <laughs> well, see? See, it, it's mine. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I do want to say thank you very much yeah, for helping us today. I look forward to uh, us knowing each other yeah. better. Well, anytime you got any questions, I'd be happy to help you out. Man, this is a blessing. It's yeah. something I was kind of feeling like, man, maybe I've made a mistake. And, uh, well, you'll, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, it, it helps have some, some support out there besides uh, just the internet only, you know. I've got a friend by the name of Rich Rock. And, uh, he came over in February, and I gave him a bunch of combs so he could go out and do put his swarm traps in. And uh, I think he's got two hives, and he's got another one looking at his swarm trap. He just every time he gets one, he goes, ah! <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's excited, so huh? <laughs> I don't get excited not to have our own honey. You know? I can, I, I can see the excitement when you licked that spoon just a second ago. <laughs> First year, don't don't plan on getting anything. Mm -hmm. It's the next year is when you get it. Well, we got you for supply now anyway, right. so. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah I, I should. I figure maybe next year I might have maybe 150 gallons. So. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, at least you know that it is 100 percent honey, yeah. right? Yeah. The, the store you just don't know it. Yeah, well, Jim, I wish I could shake your hand, but we know what's going on these days, so we'll just do the virtual handshake. <laughs> I do appreciate you very much, and uh, maybe I'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, uh, friend me. Oh, I, we're friends. Yeah, we're friends now on Facebook. Now you need to go look for my, my granddaughter and my grandson when I was filling those, those little bottles. Uh-huh. You'll get a kick out of it. I will.